Next is our widget tab, and widget tab is visible when we are having sidebars in our layout. Now, this is the combination of left and right sidebars, and now I can move to the widget tab. First option is the widget tab is your preset, giving you the redefined design for the widget, and from here you can choose anyone like I'm selecting this one. And your widgets are having basically three parts container, header, and content. First is your container. Now, under container properties, first option is margin. You can give margin to the container from top, bottom, left, and right. Go to more option and select all option. And I'm giving the margin from left, right, top, and bottom to the container. And similarly, you can give the padding also. After giving margin and padding to your container, next is the border option. And here are the various styling options. You can style your border to be dotted, dashed, or solid, and thickness of the border can be set from here. This is the various option for your container, and the color of the border of the container can be changed from here. Next is your background option. This is the background. Apart from background color, you are having gradients option, and images can also be set as background of the container. Coming to the header properties, first option is the show header, and now I'm going to uncheck this option, and the headers are removed from this widget. And next option. After the show header is the icon, so you can apply icons to the widget header. Just like I'm adding this icon here, and you can browse your own icon also through the browse option. And this is the color. From here, you can choose the color for the icon that you have added to the header. Next is your margin option. You can give the margin to the header from top, bottom, left, and right. And similarly, you can give the padding. After margin and padding, you are having the headings option. You can choose any heading type from H1 to H6. Next is your background option to change the background of the header. Coming to textures, you can add textures to the header. Then effects can also be added and through more option you can get advanced effects also. There is a shadow option similarly. Just like in container you can add shadow to the header also. After shadow you are having border option. You can add border to the header. This is the radius option for the border of your header. And next is the color of the border. You can change from here. Next is the height option. You can set the height of the header from here. And last is your typography option. You have style. You can set it normal, bold, italic, or bold italic. You can change the font size from here. Font family you can set from Google Web Phone, custom, or system phones. You can change the color of the header. Effects can also be added, and alignment can be set to center, justify, left, or right. And under text decoration, we have underline and strike through. And you can reset all. These options to a single dialog from here. Next, coming to the content properties, and the first option under the content properties is the margin. You can give the margin to the widgets from top, bottom, left, and right. 
and go to more option where I'm giving the margin to the content of the widgets and similarly you can give the padding after margin and padding you are having the border option you can set the border of the content from here you can style your border you can give the thickness and you can also give the color and radius to the content border next is your active link styling and you can see i can change the color of the active link from here Here I am selecting the color from more option using the dropper and see the change in color of the active link. Now go to the hover link option and style it. Here I am changing the color of the hover link and see this color change on hover. Similarly, you can do the styling of the visitor link also. And next is the text option. From here, you can change the phone size. You can see the change here. I'm setting it to 40. After text, we have headings option. You can style your headings from here, H1 to H6. And then coming to the order list, you can style your order list here. And next is the typography option for your order list. And similarly, you have these two options for your unordered list. You can add icon to your unordered list from here. And after the adding the icons to the unordered list, you can change the color of the icons from here go to more and here again i'm using the dropper and see the color change for these icons next is the background option for the content you can see the change in the background of the content This is your widgets tab view in the desktop and if you want to see it in tablet just go to the tablet option and click over here. This is your tablet view and you can see it in mobile also. This is your mobile view and here are your widgets. Going back to desktop. This is all about in the widgets tab. Do try to explore things on your own and you can see how simple it is to do designing with the template toaster. That's all in this video. Do watch our next videos also. Thank you.